There you go. So we did a couple interesting things. For right now, we're actually taking out the carrier and the mothership on the multiplayer side, and it's going to replace him with this guy. So he's going to be the new capital ship. Really large, huge, and you can see here another kind of rough concept, really trying to capture the, the sleek shapes, almost organic shapes of the Protoss. And you can see on the top, it kind of shows a little bit of the uh, weapon system, which is important because, as you see here in the final model, like that energy ball is huge. It really becomes part of the ship itself with the silhouette. It basically launches that thing out and takes out, you know, massive mutas. Um, this guy has an interesting history, too, because he started off as a Dark Templar theme, so he had more of the silver and green colors, and we're trying to balance out the armies just visually, and then, you know, we decided, hey, screw it, he's going back to typical Protoss, you know, traditional gold colors. And often that happens in a, during development, we'll, we'll switch back and forth, test different things out. Here you can see him totally decimate a whole bunch of uh, mutas. Yeah, I love this guy. Ah, now here's another old development video. This guy back in the day was called the Star Relic, and it's probably about three or four years ago. And we just wanted something cool. We didn't know exactly what it did. Just, hey, awesome, robotic, you know, techno-magical-looking Protoss thing. And uh, there was no role for it, basically, in the Army. So every time the designers would be like, hey, we're going to put in this flyer or this caster, I'd be like, oh, dude, come on, use this. And I'd pull it back out every time. It was almost like a joke. And so finally, there is a role for it as a caster in the Heart of the Swarm expansion. And so here's the final model, again, looking much better. And it's interesting, this guy actually started off with the gold colors at first, and once we switched the Tempest over it's back to gold, we said, well, we've got to have one Dark Templar new unit in there, so we switched this guy over <laughs> to silver. And I'd like to say we spent a lot of time thinking about it, and it was this huge deliberation, and we're very smart about it, but it took about five minutes, and we're like, yeah, that looks cool, ship it. <laughs> Um, so this guy's really fun. He's actually kind of a harassment unit with these cool spells. Like, he can put uh, shields on your minerals so you can't mine. So uh, that's, that's going to be pretty evil. Ah, here we go, the replicant. This guy is awesome. Again, talking about a very unique silhouette and structure. He goes around the battlefield. He just, you know, it's a robotic unit, so we don't have to worry too much about the cockpit or seating in it or, you know, like, how it all works. I mean, we try and be somewhat, you know, form follows function, but this guy just looks cool. We're like, screw it, he looks cool, put him in there. Uh, basically, his role is he'll take any other unit he sees on the battlefield and turn into it. So, like, right here, you can see him stealing the identity of the siege tanks, and he's a permanent siege tank now. So that means the Protoss players can now have any other unit that's on any other race, which is very crazy. <laughs> but I love that.